I mean, yeah, the table is wobbly, the tripod is wobbly, the camera is moving. I mean, what do I do? Do we just do it here? We could just try. I don't know. Let's just do it here. What in the world? Good. Let's just do it here. Oh, birds. We're gonna we're gonna do it here. We're just gonna do this video here. I'm sorry if the table is wobbly, but we'll be good. What is up, guys? And welcome back to the John and Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. This video will be just a little bit different than the others, only because I'm here to talk about creativity and hard work. Yes, those two go hand in hand, no matter who you are. But first, I will be doing a live stream video soon, so please let me know in the comments below if you wanna join in, because I will let you join in on that live video. And second, I wanna say I got my first sponsorship through YouTube. Like, literally a company reached out to me and they're like, hey, do you wanna try our products? Feature it in your videos and review it? And I was like, heck yeah, bring it over please. And so I'm partnering with a really cool company in LA, California called Sandmark. And I got the package right here. It's a uh, Sandmark action gear. So it's action gear, photography, lenses for your iPhone. And I'm gonna be doing a video on that and that will be my 100th video and I'm super pumped. This video right now that you're watching is the 99th video. So I'm really excited for the 100th video featuring my first sponsorship with the company. Boom! That leads me to kind of my final point of this video and that is working hard and creativity do go hand in hand and if you do it enough, if you, if you create good work, even if you create bad work but you're working hard towards those goals or those videos or whatever you may be doing, it will pay off in the long run. Now scrolling through the good old IG a couple of days ago and this post came up by my friend Josh who runs a company called Media Core LLC. Follow him on Instagram right here. I'm just gonna read the middle portion of this post which really caught my attention, really got my gears going in my brain and just thinking about the work that I've been doing over the last year on YouTube. It says, are you the person that says I can't do that or do you say how can I do that? That to me just popped in my brain. I don't know why, but it really resonated inside of me only because when I first started this YouTube channel, I got so much crap from everyone. I mean, it, you would not believe how much crap I, I got. It was, you know, things like, why are you starting a YouTube channel? It's too late to start a YouTube channel. Do you want to make money off of YouTube? Dude, you'll never make it big. My goal wasn't to make it big. It still isn't to make it big. Like, I would love for that to happen, but I know that happens organically. My overall goal with starting this channel was to create videos that I like, that hopefully some people out in the world found valuable or found funny. Because I'm, if you look over my videos, it's kind of all over the spectrum from like gear reviews, tech stuff, to really funny kind of, you know, uh, reaction videos. And kind of the in-between the vlogging lifestyle. So I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of all over the place and I like that about me and I like that about my YouTube channel. So, which brings me all back to the hard work that I've been putting into this channel. Like I said, I will be coming up on 100 videos, and on that 100 video, I'm getting sponsored. Like, it's always been a dream of mine to literally have companies reach out to me and, and say, or ask, hey, can we send you product for you to review, put on your YouTube channel, because we like you as an artist. We like you as a content creator. That, to me, just speaks volumes. I'm very honored when I got that email, and it's, you know, it's a small box. I'm not getting like 50 boxes or 10 boxes full of all this gear. This is a small box. This is a small beginning to which I think is gonna actually create better videos for me in the future. Having this small you know, partnership with this company is in my mind going to help me create even more videos because now all of my hard work has been paying off. I mean, I got, I got over a thousand subscribers, over the you know, 10,000 minute watch time. I'm getting paid by YouTube to make these videos. Not a lot. But it's something, like who else can say I'm getting paid by a social media platform? That's huge. I had never thought that would be possible in my entire life. You know, now that I'm actually going on the journey and it's actually happening, things are coming together, and you know, piece by piece, it's all coming together, I totally believe that it was because of my hard work. Totally because I went out and started shooting a video even though I didn't want to. I mean, that's just the beauty of it. It can always blow up at any given time or it'll take you years to do so. Are you a person that says, I can't do that? Or do you say, how can I do that? The one that was hating on me saying, you can't do that, I was thinking, you know, kind of the exact same thing where it's, yeah, how can I do this? How can I make my YouTube channel valuable for those out there? How can I make mine creative, but kind of stand out from the crowd? And I think I've done that in some sort of way. I have yet a long way to go, a long way to learn, 
but I'm super pumped as to what's gonna happen next. That is the end of my rant. I'm just saying, if you're a creative, do not give up. If you're working hard, keep working harder. Keep creating, keep making videos, do photos. If you're an artist, you know, keep on creating music. Whatever field you're in, in the creativity world, it's not just deemed, or it's not just centered on photography and video, being creative in like, you know, that, in that sense. But if you're a baker, if you're you know, a mechanic, you're an artist, you fix things, you make things, I would say keep working hard. And if you have those dreams, you gotta put them down on paper, write them down, set goals for yourself, and reach them. Get an actual timeline, because that's helped me so much. And again, I am so pumped for this sponsorship from Sandmark to be my 100th video. Like, I'm, I'm really pumped. And I wanna thank you, Sandmark, for sending this stuff. I'm super pumped. I've said super pumped like so many times, but I'm just super pumped. Uh, thanks for sending this over. I will be getting started on this video very soon, and I can't wait to review, give you an honest review of what I think about your lenses for the everyday consumer who has a phone. Maybe not a DSLR like this, but they got a phone. Well, there you go, guys. I hope that's just a, a word of encouragement for your creativity, for your YouTube channel, whatever you may do. And with that being said, I'll catch you next time on the John Q channel. Peace. Dude, th this whole time, there were two birds literally just pecking at each other the whole time. And I, <laughs> I was like looking at the camera, speaking to the camera, and I just saw these birds. And I was like, what are they doing? And I couldn't just look at them the whole time because I had this to do. It was freaking hilarious. <laughs>